after the day three disqualification of key riders from France, Spain, the USA and Great Britain, Australia had amassed a comfortable lead over nearest rivals Italy and Finland at the midway point of the six days of enduro. The excluded riders continued their week under protest, their times not included in the classification. An entirely new route for the riders, less bumpy but more mountainous terrain. Daniel Milner dropped 30 seconds to Ryan Sipes in E2, but Australia can certainly afford to concede time to out of the running Team USA. Milner's times were over a minute faster than his teammates and accounted for half of the newly extended gap to Italy. Matthew Phillips was only sixth fastest in E3, but consistent enough through the day to hold fourth in class. Australia pulled out almost three minutes further lead, but it was a good day for Italy nonetheless. Oscar Belletti remained in the top five of E3 as Italy put another two minutes on their lead to Finland. Aero Remes was the fastest Finn for a third day in four, but the next quickest was over a minute slower. Antti Helsten sits only seventh in E1 and Mika Tamanen is only just inside the top ten in class. Finland seemed resigned to a race with Germany for third. Edward Hübner is the standout star for them, running third in E1. We can still improve before the end of the week, so that's important. And uh, you know, the rest of the guys were really fast today, so uh, yeah, it just wasn't my day, and that, and that's part of the job. So um, yeah, we'll try and bounce back tomorrow with a with a bit of rain and uh, attack. 40 minutes now separate the top three. Germany settling into a battle with the Czech Republic over fourth. Daniel Sanders continues to impress individually, leading Mattia Bellino's times in E3. Again a minute faster than his nearest teammate, Sanders continues to dominate the junior trophy, as do Australia, who've consistently added two or three minutes to their lead every day, and now sit 11 minutes clear of Sweden. By contrast, the Swedes have been unable to add to their advantage over the USA through the last two days of competition. Grant Baylor in particular, running with the pace of the top junior riders. Yeah, today was uh, good. We had two new tests. Uh, I struggled really hard on the first two. There was no line in the in the hills, so it was real off camera and hard to you know get traction and, and pull up the hills with uh, good corner speed. So uh, yeah, but the second time through, I think I went really good. I pulled some good times today. Uh, second in the last test and uh, I think a fourth in the and one of the other tests. So. I was happy with my riding today. Uh. The gap remains static between second and third, with a clear race down the order for fourth. Australia continue to pull clear. Australia continues their top three lockout in the women's trophy. Tyler Jones leading teammates Gemma Wilson and Jessica Gardner individually. The slowest Australian was still four minutes up on the quickest member of the French team in second, as the gap was extended to 40 minutes. Blondine Dufresne is the top French representative and sits fifth overall. Sixth fastest, Emily Carlsen leads the challenge of Sweden in third. Uh, day four was pretty good. Uh, trails were a little bit easier today, and new trails, and it was rough. Um, but the tests were really nice. Um, us girls, I think, at one, two, three again today, Aussie girls. So, yeah, good day. The USA close on Finland in the battle for fourth, but elsewhere, the gaps between the teams extend. 